Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series, going for the total domination victory as the US Navy. So previously we did destroy the majority of a uh, cargo task force where we did destroy all but one of their fighting ships, just left a Wakatake in really critical condition. That'll be going back to the dry dock very soon. Absolutely fine, we can leave that to go back. And we did just leave, I think, just a couple worth supply ships as well because they were retreating out and we were running out of ammunition ourselves. Um, that came at the cost of um, we did take a magazine explosion on a Sims, I believe it was, a destroyer. But that's absolutely fine. We managed not to lose that just. It didn't quite take enough extra um, hits to down that. So we are going to be sending that back to uh, the dockyard to repair. But that will take quite some time. So uh, no particular plans today other than uh, rest and recover. We'll see what's about. Um, we are going to get resupplied very soon as well. Should be in this uh, day in the game. So we'll see what we can do with that. Thinking about another battleship to reinforce perhaps this New Mexico. Um, or to see what we do with our cruiser group. So we'll see about that. Okay, so um, as per the usual start, we can see some destroyers, some de keep calling them destroyers, uh, some submarines that have already launched some lightnings from Elisa over here, and some bow fighters from Milne Bay to try and deal with that. That's about it though to start to begin with. Do still have the possible Yamato over here. No idea where that's gone recently, so do need to keep an eye out for that, but that's all that can be said really for now. Um, just need to keep scouting. We are still on the way to upgrade New Georgia to a level 3 airfield with these supplies over here. And then we can start thinking about more invasions. Think perhaps Lai or actually Buka rather than Bougaville because there's nothing on Bougaville just yet. I think taking Buka would be just that much better. Give us some more forward sight and a level 2 uh, airfield over there. In fact, the more I think about that, I think that should probably be our next uh, objective there. So let's carry on, see what we can get. Okay, so a couple hours have passed and we've decided to actually launch some Havocs and Lightnings from New Georgia just to finish off these supply ships which we couldn't get yesterday. Um, our Havocs are armed with uh, rockets and our Lightnings are armed with bombs. Uh, just going to try and go for what we can really. We should not be a problem at all over here. I uh, do of course have two groups of Havocs to do so. Let's just take that a little better over here like so. Target the Nippon Marrow with those. Uh, go down to their altitude and the lights are a little further out, it's not a problem. Let's come around over here and go for the Adatawa Maru with our bombs just like that. And might even be able to strafe down the, uh, what have we got, the uh, Wakatake over here which is in some nasty nasty damage there already. Let's tell these two attacks so they get to a decent uh, position there before we forget. All the confidence in these Havocs to take us down with the rockets. <laughs> See what happens though. I uh, should be careful to take the UI away and get a better view of that. Come on guys, you can do it. It's only an oiler. Excellent. Okay. That is looking very nice. There's a magazine explosion. Brilliant stuff. Let's form up our Havocs then to one big group so we can get around to uh, strafe the Wakatake. Uh, let's come to the rear there like so and start targeting that. Our lightning can come around as well. Let's just fast forward a tad. That's already sinking. Brilliant work guys. Earned your pay there as far as I'm concerned. 
Let's tell these guys then to break an attack in just a second. Let's get a full broadside there, which is now an attack from here. And our habits can slow the hell down there. And just get on the rear of this uh, whack attacker just a little better there. Shouldn't matter too much. Shouldn't matter too much indeed. Because, uh, like we said, it is on nasty, nasty damage. Let's tell them to attack here and see how well our lightnings do with this. Probably could have been a little lower, that's not a problem. Hey, got a couple of decent hits. Was that a magazine explosion? Not quite, it's just a big explosion. That's okay. Is that uh, leaving the area or lost our uh, scout there? It's just leaving the engagement area, that's absolutely fine. Our lightnings then should be able to come round and strafe the outer tower to finish that off. But let's come round once again to the back there. How are we looking over here? Getting some nice concentrated hits there, and the outer tower is going down regardless. So we can come around with our lightnings to target the uh, mini whack attacker here, rather. I've lost uh, two havocs very quickly there. Rather unlucky. Let's form those up once again then. Our lightnings should finish off this whack attacker here. Let's just take a quick report to see exactly what's going on. Yeah, critical and critical. Very, very nice indeed. And they are, yeah, we did tell them to uh, engage. That's absolutely brilliant. Should be right then. Will it go down before we get to hit it? That's the question. Look at the fires on that. Really, really glowing there. <laughs> there you go. That will do it. That will absolutely just uh, burn down and flood down. So I think we'll leave it to it. Okay guys, so uh, we are actually, well we have just been resupplied, we have 123 command points available and I'm afraid most of it is actually going to go into a new battleship. What we're going to get actually is a um, South Dakota here and that's going to go and help out the Iowa task force. We can only fit that in there um, and what we're going to do is take out the Pensacola because that is somewhat damaged there and we're going to replace that with another heavy cruiser there just uh, to bolster that a little bit more uh, so we can get a very nice surface engagement with that in the future. So we're going to go South Dakota, 80 points there and we're going to go with... Um, do we want another Baltimore? They're very, very good. They're very, very good indeed. Uh, that would make our... Yeah, let's go for it. So the, the lesser seen Baltimore, that's going to be most of our points there. <laughs> let's send those out to meet the Iowa at uh, New Georgia there. That'd be very good indeed. I think we'll take the Pensacola out already. Just uh, split here. And that can come back to the dockyard over at the Cairns here. And that would be brilliant for us. Uh, we should get reimbursed for that in a few days' time. I'm thinking just over a week, uh, because we do have two permanently destroyed um, uh, compartments there, which is what I'm worried about, uh, because they are permanently flooding there, which is a bit of a problem uh, in the long run if we do uh, decide to take on anything rather large. Um, otherwise, I think our next major investments might be possibly another battleship to help out with the New Mexico. Um, but we are going to start thinking about getting some more cargo ships out as well so that we can make use of all of these supplies. We suddenly have 40,000 supplies and 15,000 troops at the New Hebrides and 31,000 supplies, 8,000 troops at the Cairns, which is a disgusting amount. And we can start actually really upgrading a few extra bases if we wanted to. We just need the supply ships to uh, actually have the logistics to do that. Uh, and that which is something we're slightly lacking at the moment, uh, very much at the mercy of the uh, slow speed of these ships at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's actually just tell them to beeline straight over here. Um, there shouldn't be anything too nasty in the way. We have cleared the seas recently. That's okay. Yeah, they're going straight over. All good. Let's keep going then. Again, not much to say really. Okay, so just at the turn of the next day, it looks like we're in a position to finally upgrade um, New Georgia. Just need to get this uh, group a little closer. Um, something that's just worried me a tad is this particular plane here. So what we're going to do is send out some lightnings. Going to send them out with just some uh, rockets. 
so they have the uh, fuel to go out and follow this in case it is quite a way away and they can hit a, pretty much any sort of target there apart from battleships of course and do a little bit of damage so let's unload our cargo here so we can get control of that um, we absolutely have the supplies available there so let's upgrade that once again it's looking very very good now the radar range on that is so so good indeed what do we have available then? We do have to wait a couple uh, couple minutes there, but that's okay. We're sending all of our supply ships back to uh, the New Hebrides here. Uh, we have made it back with this group as well. So let's rearm first of all. Uh, we're gonna send the Hughes to uh, rest and repair there, I think. Do we want to send anything else back to rest and re repair? Possibly the trip here, uh, because it does have some light damage. Um, and I think we're going to do that because it really doesn't take a lot as we saw in the previous video um, for destroyers to take quite a bit of damage. So we're going to replace those very quickly. Um, let's go to, not DE, though that would be quite fun for flavour. Um, let's go for, I quite like Summers. And we'll go for, should we go for a Benson actually that would be very nice let's go for a Benson and that once again will be all of our points uh, and let's merge the groups here uh, just click rearm once again just to make sure and that is now looking very strong once again excellent stuff so let's bring that straight back up to Guadalcanal we can decide what to do with that in a second our battleships are very nearly over to the uh, Missouri over here which is very very good indeed did bring those back didn't we so let's see if we can chase down this scout over here i could tell you this scout is coming from a um, kumanagara which is just uh, escorted by one destroyer escort really not a bother they're just patrolling uh just uh, south of uh, cape hoskins over here which is just absolutely fine they're sticking to themselves we'll leave them to it not a big threat at all once again nothing major sighted really relying on finding something by following this scout here so let's carry on um Okay, so it's been a couple of days. It's fairly late. It's getting around midnight on uh, day 72. And out of nowhere, um, got quite a fast-moving, uh, possibly large group over here. There has been a group of three destroyers coming around the Shortland Islands recently. I'm wondering if it's just them, but I'm very lucky, or feeling very lucky now, that we have actually uh, kept our uh, Missouri Task Force very close to Guadalcanal. Um, so we're going to try and intercept that. So they are going fairly quick. We have only just told our Missouri to move. Uh, the speed suggests there's no battleship here. So I'm feeling fairly confident we can engage this, actually. Um, what sort of distance are we? It is going to be night time, so I'm going to want to be rather close, unfortunately. Uh, once again, we're going to be at the risk of uh, losing destroyers, but that's, that's absolutely fine. Do have two battleships? Let's get right on top of them, eh? Let's learn nothing from the past. Learn nothing from our mistakes here. <laughs> Let's ruddy bloody go. Okay, so I've just taken the time to actually look uh, before we came in here to double checking our formation. I think it's all absolutely fine. Looking pretty decent to me. Let's just turn on our radars, turn off fire at will, go at decent speed and see what we've got, shall we? Fingers crossed for something fairly okay. Uh, I know you, yeah, the visibility here is absolutely terrible. We're right on top of them. So there appears to be six ships. What do we have? We have a um, one of those ships. Uh, we have another one of those. Sh that's a Shiratsu actually. It only has two turrets. Uh, that one is not a Shiratsu. We have another of those. Mostly dest all destroyers. Okay. No wonder it was zooming through um, <laughs> on the strategic map there. And, um, undoubtedly with a, a few minor um, troops and supplies looking at reinforcing Guadalcanal so we can't just let them go by and you know what a very nice target for the uh, Missouri and the South Dakota here so let's get going I think we get um, the our larger ships onto their more important ships we go for these Shiratsu to begin with here um, before we identify let's just guess out some spotting there um, can we get with our secondaries any yeah we can get some star shells out there absolutely brilliant don't want to waste anyone's main guns really on that let's identify that then we are on shiratsu for this one um fletcher you're about here let's go for the closest uh, destroyer then here uh, we think let's make that a yugmo shall we could be anything between a sashio kagero and yugmo of course let's try that then 
Um, is there really any difference with the models there? It doesn't look like it, so it's just difficult to uh, identify there. Let's get Portland on that as well. Let's go HE Narrow Fire. And same again with the secondaries. Brooklyn can fire out actually uh, on the number three here. We're going to identify this um, as a Kagero. Uh, let's just make sure we tell that to fire out. Very nice there. And we're going to identify it, like I say, as Kagero. And we can change our solutions and such, or identifications, to uh, see how our solutions change with that. So get the Jenkins to fire on Yugamo as well, to so get some focus fire there. Excellent. Um, Atlanta can fire out on Kagero as well. Let's go for that. Um, Radford can go. Let's not move that. Let's just snap that back in. Radford can go for... Um, number four here. That is absolutely a Minikaze. Incidentally, we are very much thinning their Minikazes very, very easily here. Um, we only have a few left. Let's go towards that. So they have 15 in total, but to have the um, Okikaze here, uh, they have Hokaze, Namikaze, and Numikaze as well, which leaves a very total or grand total of bugger all there. Let's get our Benham onto that as well. Uh, we get the Boston. Um, that can help onto the Shiratsu, actually. That can fire out some HE there. And if we're going to fire out, there we go. Let's go for that. And South Dakota can go for. Um, I think we're going to get the South Dakota on this ship over here, actually. Um, we're going to get some HE, of course. Um, actually, we're going to get some more star shells out there with the secondaries. For, uh, just a few, because uh, we do have the Missouri going for pretty much their front line. Let's get some in their back as well to spread this out a bit, and that should deal with them okay there. Let's go to DD um, and try and get that as Kagero as well. We can see how we go with that. So let's go over. Big old shots going out there. Big, big shots. How's our formation going with that? Might want to actually give them a small broadside there. Cross the tier tad. Get all of our guns comfortably firing out there. Can see this one's uh, lining up some torpedoes. So it might actually want to um, take the Benham, uh, Radford, Portland, and Jenkins. Where's that? Uh, make them line ahead, actually, like that. And they can actually come out like that. You can increase their speed, of course. Uh, we can increase their... Um, yeah, let's do that, actually. Increase the space in between them. Boston... Uh, actually, yeah, Boston, Atlanta, Fletcher, Brooklyn can line ahead as well. Like that. And come down a little steeper down here. And the Missouri and South Dakota can line up together. They already have. Excellent. And yeah, they can go max speed. Just sort of towards the enemy there very quickly. See how they go there. Are we going to guess any decent opening hits? And that is the question, as ever. It looks like we're getting something decent here. We can start looking after a few opening salvos, see how our solutions go with our identification there. Yeah, that's a lot of good star shells out already. Let's fire a couple more off, then we can change our secondaries out. Yeah, there we go. There's some torpedoes going off. That does it like that we're going for our battleships. So what we can do is already begin to turn out like that. Looks like we're going to have a problem with our Radford here. I'm not entirely sure what he's trying to do there. He just needs to stay in line with the Benham. Hmm. Tell you what, if he's going to do that, we'll just break him off and tell him to come round here. We'll break off the Portland as well and come out like that, just to make things a tad easier there. Like so. So it looks like we've identified the Yugmo correctly. That's quite high. Uh, as well as the Minakaze, it's quite easy. Um, Shiratsu we did get right but they just can't have the size on there just yet uh, well actually it's very much covered in smoke that look at that <laughs> um, Kagero looks like we haven't quite identified that properly so let's change that to Asashio very quickly that's actually getting worse let's go to Yugumo no, maybe it is a Kagero it's just not quite right there 
uh, sight wise so I think we're okay on that uh, which one was that? That was a number three. South Dakota can stop firing star shells and actually go for that. Same with the Missouri. Benham suffers magazine explosion already. Bloody hell. Ruddy bloody hell. They really want that dead, don't they? Really want that dead. Fat Shiratsu looks like it's going to go down. Let's take a quick report there. Chris calls Chris. We can stop firing on that then. Uh, yeah, Shiratsu is absolutely sinking. Yugamo's suffered a uh, magazine explosion. That'd be going down. So let's focus on um, this Kagero here. Fire out like that. Um, South Dakota can fire on. We haven't actually got anyone firing on this one yet. So let's go for that. Um, let's go fire. Yugamo's sinking. Excellent. Let's fire on that. Uh, let's identify this as a Wakatake very quickly. How we look with our formations? Not looking too bad so far, but I'm still worried about um, that torpedo fire. So what we're going to do is slow down here, turn off radar here, because this uh, Benham is rather fucked. This isn't actually fine. That's because the Yugamo's down. We do need to change some targets then. Let's go out, fire like that. Actually fire some spotting shells, or star shells rather, with our secondaries here because ours have dimmed. Uh, we're going to go with Jenkins then to fire on Kagero over here. Come on. There we go. Uh, Radford can do the same. Oh, it's firing on the Minikaze anyway. Boston can go for Wakatake over here. Like so. Did we actually turn to fire? We did. Fletcher can go for Kagero over here. Uh, Brooklyn is doing Kagero there. That does seem good. All right, see. Let's tell the Atlanta to come back round here. Yeah, that Benham's screwed. We're going to lose that. Look at that. In fact, there it does go. Rather nasty. But there we go. Kagero's down. Number five Kagero's down. How are these guys looking? Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Do I see any torpedo streams out in front of our ships? That's the question before we uh, change our targets. Double check the Missouri there. I don't see anything too obvious. And the sea state's fairly clear. That's a sea state of two, so anything disturbing the water should come up fairly clearly. That car goes down. Let's go for Minikaze over here. Oh, there we go. They're going for Fletcher and Brooklyn. Um, let's turn, let's increase our speed here like that, turn in, there we go and once again you know what I was saying they should be quite clear but I really can't see them unsurprisingly um, let's turn in over here like that as well then, very happy our battleships are out of dodge there but that's a lot of torpedoes, I think we're going to lose a Fletcher and a Brooklyn here guys I really do really really do but while we're turning we can certainly keep firing uh, bossing you after whack attack it weren't you I still yep yeah, there they are let's stop turning because we're going to turn in to one of the uh, torpedoes at this rate how's Boston looking and then just over here if we stop turning carry on straight and then in a second turn to our port side we should just dodge that yeah it's quite a widespread actually so we should be okay there yeah I think we'll be just fine there Cool. Atlanta, you're going to be fine, aren't you? If you just increase the speed a tad to make sure. Okay, our, our solution's doing good here. Let's fire out on something, shall we? Portland's doing good. Radford, you can turn around to actually get your guns firing. That'd be great. Actually, you can fire off some star shells. Do you have a few out, actually? So we probably don't need to do that. Who was firing those? That's the question. I think it was our Portland's uh, secondaries, wasn't it? do appear to have run out so let's get that firing again but that is going to go down very soon Wakataka doesn't seem to be doing too bad doesn't have any overly massive fires there I think it will be good I think it will be good let's just make sure people are firing on that for sure yeah this uh, Fletcher's idle that's okay let's get that out Brooklyn do you have star shells in your secondaries you do let's fire them out then and I think we'll all be good really yeah let's go for that Missouri you're not firing anyone let's go for Wakataki over here you can get some star shells out on that as well
Okay guys, so it's probably no surprise that we did quite handily win that. <laughs> um, we did of course lose a Benham that did take quite the early magazine explosion there, but that's uh, it's okay, we can absolutely live with that. No command points for that though, which is a little, uh, little bit or bitter there. Um, we're just going to go and rearm then at uh, Milne Bay, if that's the case. Uh, we do, of course, have RCA group coming back up to uh, reinforce that, so it should be okay to uh, send that out and do as it wishes over there. So we're going to get in one more um, in engagement, I think, and that'll do it for today, guys. Okay, so it's been actually a couple days since I last left you, um, and all that we've had is a single Minikaze try to take on our New Mexico task force. So we're just coming back from rearming from that. Um, but we can see possibly a nine ship task force over here. Um, I'm expecting that to be uh, just some uh, minor ships though, some more uh, light cruisers, but we're of course gonna launch out some Dauntlesses to deal with that, uh, see what we can do over there. Um, let's see what we have actually. No need to scout it out first. Let's go in blind. Let's go in blind and see what we have. <laughs> have a bit of fun, shall we? It's moving fairly quickly, so I don't imagine there's anything too big in there. Uh, let's go straight in. Where are we? Yep, we can see it is a merchant convoy by the looks of it. What have we got? We have Wenshomaru Kumanagara. Uh, that looks like... Um, an oil at the back there. I think we should hit that. Should absolutely hit that. Got some destroyer escorts once again. Uh, bringing out, you know, the big guns, of course. <laughs> they all look like they're of the same class, these actually. So, yeah, uh, Kumanagara over here, Wensho, Kamagawa, uh, Kamikawa, or Kamagawa rather, and yeah, Oyodo over here, which is what we're going to hit. Uh, I'm going to come from the rear of that because of course it does only have the uh, majority or all of its guns at the front there it's like a light tonne so let's come quite wide around that um, like so uh, the visibility is only 60% so it should be okay shouldn't really be able to spot us or get some flak out uh, until it's too late and that will be very very late indeed if we're coming from the rear of an oil door there uh, we'll take the time to actually target that in just a second uh, and then what we can do is come with the New Mexico to uh, finish it off, which would be excellent. Let's uh, increase our speed with this group. Uh, yeah, make sure everyone's targeting now. Excellent stuff. So uh, we'll come back to when we're in range, I think. Okay, so I think this should really count to as uh, within range now. Let's tell everyone to attack. You are not going anywhere, Oyodo. You are going down to the bottom of the ocean. And that is going to be it. We're going to get some nasty, nasty hits on you. We've got some big, big presence for you today. That's a lot of Dauntlesses. <laughs> a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. With some rather big bombs on them. It is small, small arms fire. We are going to have to tell our Dauntlesses to retreat and turn around to its rear as soon as we get the drop off, unfortunately. Uh, but we are going to just watch the first drop here, because that will just be fun. Yeah, you can see the uh, guns just not able to look back. Oh no! Look at that! Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Can we get the last drop in? I'm just going to tell our Dauntlesses to get out. Uh, we can come to its rear once again, uh, so we can preserve them, of course. Hey, what we're doing there, what we're doing there. Let's go back over here. Thank you. Uh, you guys, you're at the rear, that's fine. And you guys can come back and do that. Cool. Let's try not to get into that flak, shall we? That would be ideal. Are we actually going to get any hits? Look at that! That was really unlucky. Very, very unlucky. And we got two hits, but they were both duds. <laughs> Oh dear, this is karma coming around now or something. I don't know <laughs> what you could put it down to. <laughs> oh dear, let's get those Dauntlesses out and we can retreat. That's just funny. That is just funny. No hits other than two duds. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is just funny. Oh, uh, well, let's leave. And... 
do we try? Hmm, we can try hitting that again. We can certainly try hitting that again. Um, while we're on the topic, we are loading up our supplies over here with troops and supplies, and we're going all the way over to Buka over here. Um, we're going to go with these two ships. Uh, not entirely sure what to do with our fuel, so we're just load it up for the sake of it so that they're not sass idle, and they're going to come all the way out to New Georgia. Don't necessarily need to drop it on New Georgia. I'm not planning on upgrading that anytime soon. But perhaps we can upgrade Buka to a level 3. You never know. You never know. That will take some time. Um, but yeah, it's just, 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 just to have the uh, fuel out there rather than sat at our home bases ready to use later on, I think. Um, so what we're going to do... Um, do have another flight ready of Dauntlesses. Shall we go in with those again, I think? Let's try that once more. And we'll see you when we do that. We're only hit by four bombs again on the second strike there. We have already lost a Dauntless as well. Possibly lose one or two on the retreat there. We are moving out now. Um, actually not looking so bad on them. Only a couple really smoking there. Uh, let's take an action report. Should have some decent damage here. Yeah, heavy damage to minor flooding. Not the worst there. Um, but once again, this is heading straight towards our New Mexico task force. And what have they got? A damaged Oyodor now and a Kuminagara really to uh, fend us off. So that will be absolutely brilliant. We can do that in the next video, I'm afraid. I think we should just retreat out here now. And that would be very, very nice indeed. We're going to mark that before we forget, uh, just so we know where to come back to. And that's going to go very, very well indeed, I think. Let's start moving our New Mexico straight up over there and we can get some uh, some uh, scouts off in the future. But speaking of the future, thank you very much for watching. That will be it for today, guys. Um, very much enjoyed that one. Um, not a lot going on, but we've got the start of things going. Yeah, stopped a, a small uh, destroyer task force here, didn't we? Now we've got this coming over to uh, Milne Bay once again. Um, I'm a bit... I'm just, just a bit worried about what the how the Japanese are. I do wonder for their health, actually, because um, they're not sending out any of these stronger ships, are they? I'd say they do have the vast majority of their heavy cruisers still about, and over half of their battleships are still to come out. Um, got two Kongos, you know, uh, both Fusos, got the Mutsu, a Hizen, both Yamatos can still be about. We have Seedy Yamato, of course. Just wonder what they're doing. Wonder if they're really okay, you know? Uh, we should check in on them sometime. <laughs> but yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. Do very much appreciate it. Like to hear your comments as ever in the section below. But uh, I've been the Edified Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.